Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. Today we have a long awaited video, a requested video. I purchased some fragrances about a couple months ago when they were released. They are by the house of Brown Girl Jane. It's not a fragrance house, um, so I don't know if it's considered niche nd or what but they do have cosmetics um they are vegan free they are they're vegan sorry they're cruelty free um these fragrances are part of the wanderlust collection um and they are plant-based a plant-based company so they are into you know all these natural things of course i don't wear their makeup and the skincare i'm just a basic soap and water girl everything else is internal turmeric ginger lots of water exercise and sweat you know i think that's best for the skin you know um maybe some little noxema pads every once in a while but overall you know i don't wear makeup so if that's what you're looking for you know glamour powder all that stuff i might throw in a little bit of you know shimmer every now and then and some lip gloss but that's all you're gonna get from me all right and you'll get fragrances so um we're gonna be talking about three of the brown girl jane fragrances today uh we have a lot which is a place that I definitely want to visit in Kenya. We have Bahia, um, which is in Brazil. I also want to go to Brazil. It's on my list of places to travel. And then we have Casablanca. And I've been to Casablanca, Morocco, which is amazing. And the mosque on the water, all of that. So um, we're going to be talking about those three fragrances today. And they come from the Wanderlust collection. So I was very inspired by these fragrances being that, you know, I am an avid traveler. You know, I love traveling the world. I love cultural things. I love like diving into other cultures and just experiencing those things i when i do travel you all i do not stay on resorts i stay in small boutique hotels i try to stay in hotels that are owned by people um from that country you know just to support the country and you know that's what it's all about y'all giving back and then just supporting others and learning from others as well you know travel is the best educator in life you know better than anything y'all so Without further ado, we're gonna get into these fragrances by Brown Girl Jane. Um, and I told you what they're already all about, so let's get into the packaging. I purchased mine at Nordstrom's, but you can also go to the website and purchase them as well. They have like a monthly subscription, and I think with the monthly subscription, um, you'll get perks. Um, sometimes you'll get discounts, but you know, it was a one hit or quitter, a one time thing for me. And um, you know, we'll just see how it works out. If I do decide to purchase again, then I'll most likely purchase from the website. Uh, but ordering a subscription for perfumes, yeah, you already know I have enough. So um, I just wanted to try these and support um, these amazing black women perfumers and uh, see what it's all about, y'all. So as you know, I am a brown girl, okay? But my name is Marcy, not Jane. So anyway, um, uh, they come in these amazing little boxes. They're 60, I think it's 60 mLs or 50 mLs actually, these are 50 mLs and they're priced for about, um, actually I take that back, they're 30 mLs, excuse me, 30 mLs and they're priced for $62 per bottle, okay? Which I thought was a bit expensive for a 30 mL, the packaging's a bit simple. I do love the color um, of the bottle fragrance and then the box as well, very classic, very, you know, timeless, nice, you know, um, it's very clean. And these are the bottles. So the very first one we're going to get into, they have Lamu. Like I said, they have Casablanca and they have Bahia. So let's get into Lamu first. Um, it, it's very simple packaging, really cute. These are great for traveling, throwing in your purse. You're definitely going to have to freshen up with these. I've worn these a couple times before, and then I'll give you the, the 411 on them as well as far as performance and everything. So uh, we're going to go with Lamu first. And Lamu is a um, city in Kenya. You know, there we go. If you could see it, the bottles, they're very simple. You know, they all look, they're all the same, you know. All right, so in Lamu, in Lamu, it's very, um, Lamu is aromatic, tropical, citrusy, and lactonic. Um, and I definitely get that from there, especially the citruses and the lactonicness. Um, so in here, you have your bergamot sage. You have some Italian lemon. You have some salt, frangipani, coconut nectar, gardenia. You have some driftwood, um, some solar, no solar notes, musk, and sandalwood. 
So let's go ahead and spray this. I don't have anything on this hand. So let's go ahead, let's check out the atomizer. Very, you know, minimal atomizer. Nice, nothing to be wild at. You know, now this is the one. Well, I'll let you, I'll tell you guys that a little bit later on. So Lamu, you definitely get, it almost reminds me of like a lighter Narciso Rodriguez um, ombre, the one that comes in the, um, the orange or the terracotta bottle. Also kind of reminds me in that realm of a uh, chant for the nymph, Gucci. Um, you know, you do get the frangipani in here. It's really beautiful. It's creamy. It's like tonic. You know, it's very tropical. You get some salty notes, some solar notes as well. You know, not too salty, but like I said, you definitely get this. It smells like, um, it smells like jasmine's in here as well, but I don't think it is. Um, no, but you definitely get, you know, like that coconutty, like a coconut milk, um, frangipani, ylang ylang, a tropical scent, a very creamy, like tonic tropical scent. Now I do like this, you know, it is very light. Um, it is not, these are, none of these are beast mode fragrances. Um, these are very, it's mass appealing. This fragrance right here, I would say is definitely mass appealing but it's very tropical, amazing for the summer. I wouldn't say this is for the fall, winter, or spring because, you know, it's very tropical. Even though it states it's lactonic, you get more of those tropical notes, the coconut scent, the saltiness, you know, slightly woody in the dry down. I think there's driftwood in here. I said, yeah, there's driftwood, frangipani. It smells like there's ylang ylang in here, but there's no ylang ylang in here, you know? but you get sage, Italian lemon, bergamot, you know, all that. It's a really pretty scent. So Lamu Lamu, I definitely like. This is gonna be like a very short review, y'all, um, because the fragrances are pretty simple. Um, now, this fragrance only lasts about maybe three, maybe three hours on my skin. Um, yeah, and that's with moderate spraying. I would probably definitely have to spray a little heavier, but this is the perfect size to carry in your bag, even after like two or three hours to re-up on the fragrance. You know, you don't need to carry a travel atomizer or anything. Um, it's perfect just to throw in your bag or like me, you know, I'm going on vacation or always on vacation as most people would think, but I'm always working as well. Um, so these are perfect for me to uh, throw in my suitcase it's the weight the bottle is not super heavy so that's not going to uh put a bearing on your you know bags carrying heavy bottles like 100 ml bottles when you're traveling so these are amazing for traveling or for daily use and you can just pop in your bag or your small purse um yeah but like i said i really like this scent you know, but in the dry down, the sweetness goes away there's a slight sweetness to it which i think it's coming from the coconut nectar you know, so you still get that sweetness, the powderiness, the lactonicness. It smells like ylang ylang and frangipani in here. You know, you get a little bit of the saltiness as well, but it's it's a really pretty fragrance. Absolutely love this. If this came in a bigger bottle, I might purchase it, uh, but it doesn't. And I'm satisfied with this one right here. So the next one we're going to talk about, but yeah, this is Lamu, y'all. Lamu. I'll rate these at the end of the video, and I'll let you know which one I like uh, most to the least, okay? or uh, yeah, most of the least, <laughs> or most, most to the most. <laughs> so anyway, the next one we're gonna talk about is Bahia. Bahia comes in the same packaging. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, Bahia. Now, Bahia is a city in Brazil. Um, if you all know, Brazil's like a stunning place. I want to go, um, what is it? Not parasailing. I think it's parasailing. It's not over the ocean, but it's one where you jump off the cliff. Almost like skydiving. But that is my goal in Brazil and to catch those amazing views. You all know that when I go on vacation, I love cliff jumping. I love all that. So yeah, I better have some good insurance, right? Yes. <laughs> so always get your travel ins insurance when you travel as well, y'all, yeah, because you never know what may happen. So this is Bahia, and this is an amazing place in Brazil. Um, if you go online, there's a lot of dancing and singing and street art and all that stuff. And Bahia, just a wonderful place to be. Um, and I'll get there one day. So in Bahia, 
uh, it's considered like aquatic, fruity, floral, um, and it's ozonic. So you have your peach, lotus, orange blossom. You have some tuberose. You have some jasmine, gardenia, vanilla bean, cedar, cashmere, and musk in here. So let's spray Bahia on my other. Same opening, same automizer, all that. Like I said, these last about two, three hours. Projection is moderate. Sillage is moderate for like maybe 30 minutes to an hour. And then it's the sillage is pretty much gone. It becomes like a skin scent, y'all. Most all of these fragrances pretty much become a skin scent after about an hour. And you really have to use basically smell yourself in your own little scent bubble for about two or three hours. But, you know, like I said, re -up. So you definitely get some peach, you get some white florals in here. You know, now this one, Lamu has more projection on it than Bahia. Bahia is a little softer, you know? It's definitely aquatic smelling. You do get like a really light, airy, you know, watery, aquatic, like aquatic fruity notes in this fragrance. It smells like some red berries, but... No, there's, it's the orange blossom and the florals and the lotus. That's what I'm smelling, the lotus and the peach. Lotus, peach, florals, you know. It pretty much, it basically is what it states, you know. You know, like aquatic. But the fruits in here are not, are not as like strong or really fruity. It's very light, watery, and airy. You know, this is this might be the lightest out of them all. And this is Bahia. But yeah, I definitely get white florals in here. You know, some tuberose. It's a little bit of powderiness as well. You know, and you get some fruits. Okay, so anyway, that is Bahia. So the next one I was really excited about was Casablanca. So um, this is Casablanca, same bottle. Casablanca is a city in Morocco. So it's an amazing place. I spent a month in Morocco or 28 days in Morocco. I started from the north, which is Tangier. And then I went to, um, I went to Fez, uh, where they make all the leather and things like that, handmade leather. Um, then I went to, let's see, uh, so many places. Then I spent time, of course, I, of course I landed or I ended up in Marrakesh. Um, oh, how could I forget? I went to Chef Chouan. That's what got me over to Morocco was the blue city called Chef Chouan. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to make it there. So in knowing that I wanted to go to Chef Chouan, um, I planned a whole trip alone in Morocco, y'all. So Chef Chouan was amazing. It's a small blue city and they paint that city blue because they said it um, deters mosquitoes. And I was like, so the whole city is blue for mosquitoes, but I think it becomes traditional. Um, and it's, you know, it's just a part of their, uh, it, what, it's what attracts people to the city because it's like entirely blue. Everything is blue from different shades of color blues. Um, I'll post a reel on Instagram. I actually do a reel when I was in Chef Chouin. I didn't make very many, very many videos back then, uh, but I do have like tons and tons of pictures of Chef Chouin. It's amazing. There's a hike up to the church. Um, yeah, the food was stunt. Uh, the food was like the most amazing in Morocco. But anyway, um, this is Cas let's get back to Casablanca, y'all. Yeah. So then I spent uh, two nights in the Sahara Desert. Um, that was the most scariest and amazing experience with all the centipedes and the sand. Uh, but it was just to know that like this young girl once had dreams of going to you know Morocco, and I just. The fact that I ran the sand dunes and I stuck my feet in the sand in the Sahara Desert, y'all. That was like the most amazing experience. And sometimes it just, it's very, it's very touching and emotional because like traveling is emotional, y'all. You develop all of these connections with everybody, you know, people all over the world. And it's just such an amazing experience. So anyway, back to Casablanca, okay? <laughs> so... 
um, Casablanca. You have, Casablanca is like warm, spicy, it's powdery, um, it's woody. So in here you have your marshmallow, cardamom, incense, vanilla, you have some orchid, you have some suede, saffron, sandalwood, amber, and musk. So this was the one I was most excited about because you know I love the note of marshmallow in everything. Marshmallow and I love cardamom and incense. So let's go ahead and spray this here. So, it's very woody, you know, very incensey. It's not spicy incensey, but it's very sweet, marshmallowy, woody, and ins a slight incense scent. You know, you do get cardamom, but you get suede. I think it's this said suede. You definitely get the suede. I don't get any saffron, that's for sure. But actually, there's a slight leathery, suede touch to this. So maybe that is the saffron like a really soft leather scent, but powdery. But you definitely get the marshmallow and the cardamom that softening that leather and that suede scent up. You know, but it smells like the inside of a leather jacket. You know how it has that little suede or soft material in the inside mixed with some marshmallow. And it's not heavy on the cardamom at all, but the cardamom's probably adding a little bit of sweetness. And this is not a spicy fragrance, even though it state that there's cardamom and there's incense in here as well. You do get a really nice vanilla. So vanilla, suede, leather, um, slight saffron, and a little bit of cardamom. So that's pretty much the gist of this fragrance. So um, out of all the fragrances, which one uh, would I purchase a full bottle of? So this is Lamu, you know, this is more the tropical one. Then you have Bahia, which is more of the ozonic one. And then you have Casablanca, which gives you more of the, the suede, leather, marshmallow, uh, cardamom, incense scent, and vanilla. So, so now, like I said, these fragrances only last for about two hours, three hours max if you spray heavy. You know, but basically it's turning into a skin scent already, you know, and it's only been 15, 17 minutes, 15 minutes, y'all. So let's say two hours. I'm not going to even give it three hours. I'm going to give them two hours, uh, 30 minutes, and then a skin scent, okay? But these are fragrances that are pretty mass appealing. You know, um, they're very young. They're very light. They're very airy, very youthful, you know, um, if you are really into fragrances, I don't know if this would be for you unless you would want to wear this to bed. You know, um, there are a lot of other fragrances that, um, you know, or unless you're traveling and you just want to spray on something light as you're traveling, or you can use this as, you know, maybe you want to freshen up at the end of the day, you know, if you're out and about. You know, but a, a real, a fragrance lover, someone that is really into fragrances, you know, niche fragrances, heavier designer fragrances, um, you might think this is a little on the lighter side for you. These are great for young girls to me, you know, like somebody that's maybe the age of maybe eight or, you know, to the teens. Um, they want to start a fragrance journey and they're considering wearing fragrances and they're non-offensive and they're light on the skin. Um, they're probably um, hypoallergenic, you know, they definitely smell hypoallergenic, you know, so it doesn't bother your nose as well. There's nothing sharp about these fragrances like anything. They're very light and very nice and airy. So, um, yeah, I would say, um, yeah, these are great gifts. You know, they would definitely be great gifts for a very young girl or somebody um, that travels. You know, you might want to give that to them because the significance of the Wanderlust fragrance, fragrances, that's what they're considered, the Wanderlust fragrance collection, the significance of the cities um, on uh, labeled um, on the perfume. So anyway, that is all that I have for you. I will rate these. Now, the one that I like the most is... I would have to say, um, they're all disappearing. I would have to say I like Lamu more in the opening is my number one. Then I like Casablanca, which is my number two. And then I like Bahia, which is my number three. So Lamu is giving me just a little bit more character and uh, a little bit more 
projection and performance in the opening. Casablanca pretty much dies down. I've worn this multiple times. Um, they all die down to a skin scent, but Casa Casablanca goes away. It just leaves like a powdery, woody scent uh, with slight sweetness, like from the powderiness from the marshmallow. Almost smells like the dust or the powder on the marshmallow. Um, and then like Bahia. I really don't get very much from Bahia. But, you know, I was happy to support and um, most likely these will probably go to my daughter uh, because I don't have a need for them and I probably will not. I'm not going to pick them up. You know, I don't have a need for them. So um, that is it on Brown Girl Jane. Great gifts, like I said. Um, great gifts for young girls, you know, or for those that love traveling that can just throw them in their bag. I don't know if you can take these on the airplane with you because they're 30 mLs. I think it's like 10 mLs on the airplane. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but anyway, if you can, they're great for taking on the airplane. <laughs> um, all right, go on to the world. Spend amazing sillage. Do good, be good, all of that. And uh, get your nose on these Brown Girl Jane uh, fragrances. Yeah, I'll go and support our, you know, black perfumers and uh, show them some love. All right, y'all have a nice day. Bye-bye.